<laughs> okay. All right. If you're watching this video, you want to know what's the best way to give access to all this stuff inside of fabric. Should I use a workspace? What's this org app thing? Like which one of these is better? Which one's worse? Does it depend? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the definitive guide and <coughs> the definitive recommendation around how you give people access to the stuff that you have in fabric. All right, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do the YouTube thing. If you want early access to this content, become a member. And for as little as $5 a month, you can get early access to all of this good stuff that we got going on here. All right, let's talk about, we're talking about access. Ah <laughs> all right, so what are we talking about here? Workspace, you can give access at these different levels, admins, members, contributors, or viewers. And the, really the question is, should you be using that viewer uh, level access? So what are we talking about here? Well, now I'm not gonna go over all of the different levels of access that exist inside of here. <clears throat> sometimes you're gonna wanna use viewer or admin. Sometimes you're gonna wanna have members and contributors. Uh, you, you know, links are gonna be down below around all of the, the different levels of access. And uh, for generally speaking, uh, the, the basic recommendation is keep your environment as simple as possible, right? So workspaces are where people do work on data. So this is where people are going to be building out data flows. They're going to be building out reports. They're going to be building out lake houses, models. All that stuff is going to be built in the workspace. So the people that are going to be building there, it's going to be in there. Go check out the documentation below for, for, for more information about like what each level does. All right. Now, there's really kind of two methodologies when it comes to giving viewer level access to people uh, in, in you know of content that you've got in Fabric or in Power BI. There's a the workspace level access, which is hey that viewer level that we just talked about, or through something called an org app or a Power BI app. Those are those are kind of it. You know you, you know embedded apps are really just. Uh, you know, organizational apps, you know, there's, there's just kind of, those are the only two ways to gain access to content inside of Fabric, all right? If we talk about the workspace level acts and, and viewers, you can, to you can add people in as viewers inside of a workspace. That's going to give them view access to all the content and holy cow, I'm on the wrong side of here. Let me switch over to the other side. View, view and you can use you can use that you can use that viewer level access and take it full advantage of all of these items the challenge comes is users are then going to many many workspaces and frankly they're going to see lots and lots of stuff in there that's in there but you can share things uh from your workspace level that is something that is out there that you could just give people access to now oh gosh now i gotta switch to the other side Let's keep bouncing around. We got this. <laughs> All right. Um, now, when we're talking about building out org apps, this means you do, you don't give users any direct view into the workspace, and you just keep this for workers. That means your data analysts, your engineers, your data scientists, they're going to be building and working inside the app. But consumers of your data, you, you don't give them viewer level access to that app. Okay. What that does is uh, it, it shifts you to using uh, what's called an organization app or a Power BI app for sharing stuff in and welcoming people into it. This basically makes it much easier for people to see a consolidated view of information out there of what you as a content creator want people to see and access, okay? That allows you to bring it all together. You can actually even embed content from other workspaces or from Teams or from SharePoint or, or other websites. All sorts of things can now be published and exposed through that app, right? But while those are there, they don't have to go in and see all of the stuff that's in a workspace, right? A viewer, when they come in, they, they're actually gonna see a whole bunch more than just inside that app. And that's what bleeds into the recommendation. Like if you're sharing content to consumers, org apps or Power BI apps far exceed uh, the experience than sharing a viewer, okay? If you're currently sharing viewers, 
you've got a huge nightmare when it comes to organization and what you've shared to individual people. Because it's entirely possible for you to not even just at the workspace level, but even at the individual item level, share items out to individual workspaces. This makes it a nightmare for auditing, uh, ensuring that like people have access to the right content. It makes it a nightmare for people who are like going and consuming it. And like, then they see all these other assets that are in the service that maybe they don't need to have access to or, or you know, they just don't care, right? Like, oh, look, there's 400 data pipelines in the workspace and the 10 reports and the 10 semantic models. And it's really hard for them to navigate it. An app makes that so much easier, so much better uh, for your consumption, all right? Now, I've been using uh, Power BI apps for uh, like, gosh, it's got to be going on like six or seven years. It is the best and only way that you should be sharing uh, Power BI or like analytics content out into Fabric. There are a handful of exceptions, right? Like if you're trying to sh share read access to a lake house and you want people to run queries, well, that's different right? Then you're starting to talk about people doing actual work in the lake house. And so that's when you like going to that viewer program. And uh, there's some other exceptions that are out there. And so that's where you want to check out that those links below around like how you get access and why you should do that. But that's straight up the exception for access. The recommendation is, and unless you have that caveat as something that you want in your organization or for a specific user, Every other user who's just going to be consuming reports should just be accessing it through an app or an org app, okay? That's really kind of it, all right? If you have any questions, leave those questions down below. Hit me up on LinkedIn or X. Uh, happy to answer them. Happy to go into more detail on this. Uh, but with that said, you have the absolute best day ever, all right? All right. And I know this is a lot. I know some of you are really inundated with all this stuff and you feel like you need some help. Don't worry, I got you. Head over to bakertilly.com slash digital and, my, and click on the like, you need more information. Myself or one of my colleagues will reach out and, and, and set up some time for us to connect and talk. If you think you can become a data god, and I know you can, check out these videos over here to help you on that journey. Boom. Let's do it. Ha, 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 ha.